Rio Ferdinand has blasted Manchester United's stern lifeless performance after they were beaten by Premier League basement boys Sheffield United at Old Trafford. Old Gunnar Solskjaer's men went into the game in fine form and were riding high after knocking Arch, rivals Liverpool out of the FA Cup in emphatic fashion last weekend. Their run has put them into the title picture and a win at Old Trafford on Wednesday would have moved them back above rivals Manchester City to the summit of the Premier League table. However, in what is one of the shock results of the season so far, United slumped to a 2,1 defeat at the hands of Chris Fielder's Blades, who have been rooted to the bottom of the table since the opening day in what was the worst start to a season by any team in Premier League history. And Ferdinand didn't hold back when asked for his assessment of his former club after the defeat at Old Trafford. They didn't have that sip about them. From minute one, really, there wasn't that cut and thrust web seen from United. Ferdinand told BT Sport after the final whistle. Credit Sheffield United, Chris Wilder set them up very well, but United didn't ask the questions. Bruno Fernandes, who they've relied on so heavily in recent weeks, months, didn't get it going today. Paul Pogba the same. If anybody was starting to get carried away at Old Trafford, with the position that they're on, it was a reality check. I think recently Man United, in terms of reaction, had been brilliant but tonight it seemed to come crumbling down. Marcus, Rashford and, Anthony, Marshall were invisible, didn't get on the end of anything, didn't create anything. Last week Liverpool, tremendous performance. Bottom of the league Sheffield United. Door, lifeless at times. The inconsistencies they don't win you the league. It's what we said about Man United for many, many months that the inconsistencies of individuals on this team is what's holding them back. And we thought we had seen the back of that but it's just reared its head and that's the unfortunate thing. Keane Bryan opened the scoring in a first half in which Marshall saw an equaliser ruled out for an apparent foul by Harry Maguire on goalkeeper Aaron Ramsdale. Maguire did eventually find a leveller in the second half but Solskjaer's comeback Kings floundered rather than rallied. The Blades capitalised on some atrocious defending as substitute Oliver Burke struck home off of Axel Twanzebe to seal at the win, only their second Premier League triumph of the wretched season. And Ferdinand took aim at both Marshall and Matic for their sub par defending in the build, up to the Blades winning goal. It's about the reaction, and I want you to see in a minute, Marshall, where he ends up when the ball gets around the penalty box for Man United, Ferdinand added when analyzing the goal. He ambles back. I want to see a reaction of him sprinting back. Jogging. In yesteryear that doesn't happen. They get back here. Look, Terry's Marshall, two or three passes have gone on Hess still jogging back, ambling back. I want to see intensity. Maddox should be doing the same. And it's not just about Marshall. It's not just about him. I could pick a couple out here, and I will. David, De Gea should clear his lines, get it out of the stadium. The ball goes to, Monsteron. Please, I'm begging you, Maddox, get out. Show me your reaction and intensity. Get out and get the ball. He has his hands behind his back which I hate, too. Replays show Marshall and Matic making minimal effort to recover the ball, leaving Ferdinand flummoxed at the duo's response. Marshall, please sprint to him. Please go out there and affect the man on the ball. He doesn't, Ferdinand pleads while analyzing the sequence of play. Please, Mr. Matic, get out there and affect the ball. This is like two or three passes on the ground. The result means United remain a point behind rival City, who have a game in hand.